At least that is what they tweeted earlier, I'm pretty sure. Um, and here it is, and yep. what they, they told me earlier as well. She Us definitely played some Duck Hunt already on stream. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh you're right. Actually, yeah. I remember. Um, uh, oh, stop it. Funny? <laughs> okay, that would have been... Funny double dig? That would, that, oh, wait a minute. Two of them? <laughs> Yeah, we're playing. We're playing off the stage. I'm loving it so far. But yeah, uh, Fawn thus far, um, you know, the Diddy has been in development for a little while. Yep. A um, couple of weeks now, yeah. And um, likes the character a lot. I mean, the way I I remember they t they were tweeting out how the way they saw a Tweak play yeah. really inspired them to pick up the character because it's just a one. It's a, it's a niche little character to play against. You know, he has a bunch of great uh, assets to him, mm -hmm. and it's a great counter pick for people who constantly fought their Rob, their Duck Hunt, and their other characters that they want to play that day. You know. Yeah. No. And um, the thing with uh, Diddy Kong. Has always had a very solid matchup for Leader Trainer, um, mm -hmm. even since 4. Obviously, it's not quite as bad as it used to be. Wow, that wasn't even angled down. That still just hit ledge. Um, Monkey okay. fist go boom. I know, that move is really good. Um, the, the move like it compares to like very similarly is actually Bowser F-Tilt. Uh -huh. um, it's not nearly as strong, obviously. However, it has the same amount of active frames. Uh, five being five, so it's, it lingers for a long time. So Diddy and Bowser are really good at hitting ledge with their respective F-Tilts. I see, okay. How about though? Vaughn at the start has a nice solid it's lead. Um, the, the age old question pick up banana or yeah. react to incoming projectile? Yeah. Is she going to be able to get back to stage though and get back into a position where neutrals reset? Uh, she is in that position. However, um, John with a reversal coming off the ledge. Ooh. Yeah, nice patience from John. Just That's wait for her to, to just wait there for yeah. a while and shield and into the forward throw. Uh, once again, again waiting now for the gap yeah. attack on, on shield, and there's a humongous, humongous forward throw. Yeah, and you know after a solid start, and a, I, I like the weight there on the angel platform. You know, it, it is that that position is definitely kind of tough, where you know you you took the first stock and then didn't lose your second stock for a little while. Mm -hmm. um, waiting on the platform, sort of resetting your mindset. I like that a lot by Fawn. Yeah, absolutely right. Nice attack against Fawn on the ledge right there. She has to really work on, uh, she has to work on getting that, that, center, that center stage control away from Numbers, because Numbers is clearly very yeah. dead by this matchup where he knows that Diddy Kong's going to want that. Uh, no jump, by the way. That position. Yes, and yes, down kill here. him for that. Yes, yes. yes. Kill uh, him, <laughs> kill him. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, no. So John John is in straight a Straight to jail. Yeah. Straight to jail. <laughs> Do not pass go well, to 200. <laughs> Jumping from ledge straight to jail. No right. jump to jail. <laughs> um, yeah. But no, uh, that's so good because we fit without jump off the stage. Actually, I like it. <gasps> I like, I like, again, I like, I like it. Um, I like the bonus of it. Yeah. Um, but like, but when we fit doesn't have uh, jump in that position, it's very, very limited as to what uh, they can do above her, right? So like, Weaver Trainer can't do a whole lot above her if she doesn't have jump. I still, still think does have it here. Yeah. I wasn't po positive if John tried to shield out or uh, jump out of that deep breathing. Oh, nice beer reverse there reverse. by John. Yeah, really good, excellent movement from John just to kind of, oh, this happens. Uh, this I've seen this happen multiple times with Fawn. Just the, um, I guess the wonkiness of the, the bongo um, jetpack is just kind of so wonky. <laughs> what jetpack? The bongo jetpack? The bongo jetpacks? Are they not bongos? I mean, they kind of look like bongos. Are they it's not just bongos? A, it's just a jetpack. But, yeah, it's, it's just bongos. You know, the barrels. It's, the it's barrels. They are, they are barrels, not bongos. Oh, they're like bongos. They, yeah, they, I, I, get, I, get, I get what you're saying. They kind of look like this. bongos. I love but, it. Um, the bongos. See, th th that's the thing. Uh, um, we saw the SD there. New Diddy players, you know, if you're new to the character, happens once a set. Oh, this is huge. Okay. No jump. Okay, tries to absolutely there again. Nice. Love that. And you get the, and you, and you get, and you get the true combo there. So that's really big for Fawn. She started off that position there. You know, just maintaining a ledge trap, which is tough to do against Weaver Trainer, of course, has a lot of mix at ledge. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just been very patient waiting for John to pick an option, right? So there, you see, we go into shield. John opts to land on stage, and John actually was in startup of F-Tilt there, so F-Tilt almost came out. I believe um, Weaver Trainer, um, Weaver Trainer soccer ball, if it's spaced like that, is like close to zero. So you can see John is already in the startup of F tilt. That was like maybe one or two frames away from coming out. Mm -hmm. um, but Fawn had just enough time to drop shield and detail.
before the F-Tilt was able to come out. Yeah, it's, Humon, nice. it's, it's a huge start for Fawn. Um, actually, but... At least getting the first game for herself in this set, which, you know, it, it really goes back and forth against uh, between these two players. Yeah. Uh, one week it's Fawn, one week it's Numbers, another week it's Numbers, and then it's Numbers for three weeks in a row, and it's like, ah, oh, I hate playing this game. And then Fawn is sad. And then Fawn's <laughs> and and like, I'm going to play Diddy Kong, and yeah. now she's just... Overwhelming the the bracket but with with this character. For what it's worth, this character is really really good. Um, mm -hmm. Diddy Kong and like Fawn is playing very well today as well. Not really afraid in disadvantage. Yeah, trying to go for the spike there. Don, uh, John Di is in. Um, oh, oh, but we hit those. We hit the two frames of as course. John comes to ledge. Um, and that is huge. You you have to get a little bit of extra credit here for it to like super duper matter. But like that, getting into this position, this, this is gonna be some extra credit. Yeah. <gasps> Tried it? No. I, yeah. I, I know what Fawn was going for, of course, but it was just. It only works on DIN, yeah. right? Or not? Or no DI. So like you on DI out, which John did there. Mm -hmm. John. He went too far. Yeah. yeah. Loving these strips that Fawn's the getting consistently scheme. though. It's great. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the pyramid scheme. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> that was what that was an attempt at. I mean, like, it, obviously, it's not in the game anymore. Oh, no, like, that, that was uh, yeah. They patched out the pyramid scheme. That's did. just multi-level marketing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the, the MLM. It's legit. It's legit. We will look. They're, they're health products. We swear. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, numbers just keeps attempting to uh, grab Diddy, but I think because of the down tilt, she's hurt. She's like shifting her box too low to actually get grabbed uh, out of it. It's kind of throwing numbers in for a loop right there. Nice and grabbing the banana in that moment and not getting anything off of it. She was kind of running low though. Okay. And again, grabbing banana. Catches yeah. the ear dots there. That's really big. Diddy is obviously very good at those. Okay, not gonna dip low there. I like that. Sting. Oh no! What was she at? Sting seventy. Like I think it was after the hit, too. No, less. Yeah, it, was, it was 70 after the hit, so it was like 50 before. Yeah, 50. 50. Yeah. Oh. 80. Why did that do Why? 30 it did 30 damage? Yeah. Nah. I mean, I, was, I guess it's because the soccer bad. ball and the header hit, nah, but like, I, come bad. on. Nah, that's atrocious. That's stinky. Yeah, and again, that, that's what I was mentioning before, where... Uh, Oh, barely just misses the sun just, citation right there. This I think. is slipping out of Fawn's finger. There we go. Fingers a little bit, but that up smash is big, and even though it was misspaced a little bit, ended up working out. Yeah, just slightly off, but thankfully just take enough to take that for that second mm -hmm. thought off of numbers, and hopefully we can continue to continue this momentum. <laughs> even like timing out deep breathing a little bit, just getting that extra damage. That was um, cute. They did like on, three on little itself. jumps around each other. Oh, oh no huge. jump down, here. Down air into up air into grab for a throw. Oh, we're off the stage. We have. That's, oh, we're going that's right through really, the soccer ball. Really yep. smart by Fawn. Um, getting out of that position there with the, the monkey kick flip and getting a full 30 damage. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. That's game. Yeah. Getting a full 30 damage, however, like, you gotta think, like, losing a stock of 50 when you've so consistently been living a long time, like, that stings a little bit. Fawn was in a great position to, at the very least, you know, stay up in percent and stock advantage. Um, however, just losing that stock of 50 was super duper costly. Yeah. Yeah, it was just it's just the the second stock right here at 50 was just it was the turn of the game. It was the immediate uh, turn of the game. And we're getting I don't know if we noticed by the way every song that's been played so far has been uh, DK music, and yes. we're getting King K Rule ship deck. As it should be. Well, Shindig. As it should be. Hmm. Three, four of them? No. Honestly, <laughs> I'm thinking about it, it's kind of nuts that New York doesn't have a K Rule because like that is the most New York heavy on planet Earth. Like, I'm, I'm I'm shocked no one plays K Rool either. He's such a, like, he's so fun. That is the most like uh janky matchup check you character. New York is full of those like players. It's kind of nuts that we don't have a K Rool, but uh, at least like one that's like super duper relevant, right? I need a K. Yeah, we need a K Rool. I think I think K Rool is actually one. We, on we this need stream. A, a John Numbers of K Rool. Oh my God. Yes. Wait, what if John instead of having like the like vomit zard has his vomit K Rool? He has a vomit zard. No shot. What's yeah. That? <laughs> Oh, uh, um, uh, uh, in in PM, John was a Zard main and played the ugliest Zard color. Uh, <laughs> and so I deemed it. Uh, ha had Zard, Zard in Smash 4 too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. That's so good. Okay, I think Numbers trying to take yeah. out uh, Diddy's recovery right there, but he's gonna clean it up with the F yeah, instead. Does, does catch the roll back to stage there. Yep. Um, uh, uh, this is this is. No! It's okay to go. It's a. It's, a, it's okay. I also would leave. Uh, 
Man. It's bad. He's bad. Like this was like no. the turning point of the set was was getting header at and, fifty. At fifty, and this is like when when John hits you with oh, something. Oh, the wind box is when, out, Yeah. When John hits you with something dumb, like this is every John set ever, and like again, I've com I, I've commentated a million, so like I know. Yeah. But like, John hits you with one dumb thing, and he just like takes that momentum, and it's like I'm just gonna hit you with at least four other dumb things before this set ends. Um, however, you know, down a full stock here is not the absolute worst position for Fallen to be in. She still has the potential, obviously, here to take stocks early. Has done so with you know that that, that two frame down air. That could have been huge. Again, yeah. yeah, John probably could have GI'd it. No, stop. Uh, get me out. Okay. Okay. Get me out. That, that, <laughs> get me that, that, out. That was, a, that was a smart up. just to you know live in that position. Yeah, and John just ready for the oh nair that, that time around. But the, the link, big lingering hitbox, but not out that long. Immediate jump um, into the monkey flip kick. Um, gonna allow Fawn to get back to the state. Uh, that Roland's a little bit suspect. And numbers is running so fast. Are you serious? Just, just. Right. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Right. Like, right. John, right. John gets momentum after hitting you with one, one dumb, dumb thing, thing, and, there was and then hits three you with things. four other dumb things. And it's just like, John had a read on. <laughs> uh, John had a read on dashing. Look that at move, this. that move has invincibility on it. John was just dashing it. back and forth, waiting. Yeah. Jumps over the dash attack. Yeah, because Fawn was gonna do it a second time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. This character's dumb. This character, you know what? We fit's not dumb. It's numbers playing We Fit that's dumb. And Fawn was looking, looking so good right here. And look at this. Look at this absolute robbery. Look at, look at this. Bah! Yeah. Dead. So, okay. Can we go back, go back to that one? Second stock? Uh, yeah, so obviously, like, John Numbers. I don't think we're gonna have time. Getting John Numbers. Yeah, they're things. already fist Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so we're not gonna have time, but, <laughs> okay, the reason, yeah. the, the reason that.